Okay guys, I'm going to shoot a quick video. It's 1964 Mercury Cyclone. Uh, this is a true cyclone. Come out of o Oklahoma. It originally was, I believe, uh, polar white with a white and parchment interior. Uh, it was a 289 automatic. Um, I have another bucket seat for it. Uh, it's, it's a red one though, but it goes with the car. I just haven't put it in here yet. Console, uh, passenger side bucket seat. You can see it is a, a true Cyclone uh, 63E. And then the uh, 4J27, the 27 designates cy Cyclone. K is the fifth digit. It is not the K code that everyone is thinking about. This is Mercury's version of the K code. It was a 210 horse four barrel, or pardon me, 215 horse four barrel 289. Does the original radio instrument cluster. Most of the head, headliner is there. The, the hard to find pieces are there. The, <coughs> pardon me, the um, plastic covers. There's one in the trunk. There's two here. Um, back seats there. It's not a rusted out piece of crap. I will tell you the floorboards are smoked in this thing. Uh, this was a solid car when it was parked, but it evidently had a rat in it at one time. Under the passenger seat is the worst. It's completely rusted. There's the drive or passenger side floorboard in the rear, driver's side rear. But the amazing thing about this car is the, the frame rails in this thing are absolutely flawless. I would call them perfect. Uh, I piddle with a lot of 64, 65 Comets, Calientes, and Cyclones. Um, this thing has beautiful frame rails, rocker panels. Um, the quarter was actually scraped right here and then this door. Um, but as far as back, it, it wasn't. Um, my opinion, this is a wonderful parts car or a great project car. I have the inside trim that goes around the windshield. It's in the trunk. I'll show you the trunk floor here in a minute. Trunk floor is not rusted out. The ass end of it actually has a really nice bumper on it. Trunk floor is not rusted out at all. They were notorious for that. You can still see the polar white in it. Somebody painted it gold at one time. The trunk seal retainer, drip rail, whatever you want to call it, it is not rusted out at all. It's very solid. These are also notorious for rusting out. Now the trunk lid is in pretty bad shape. It is not original to the car. It's a blue one. Quick little walk around. Front of the car, pop the hood here. It's an original power steering car. Battery tray is not rotted out in it. The uh, battery apron is not rotted out in it, which is also weird because normally they're rusted out. Core support is not rusted out in it as well. Very solid. Uh, VIN number 4J27K. And then the last sequential numbers also match the door tag as well. I do not have a title with this car. It came out of a junkyard in Oklahoma originally. Um, they said the guy, the guy drove it in there in the 80s and parked it. And they pulled the engine and transmission out of it. But, you know, in the 80s, this was a Toyota Corolla. It was nothing special. Walk around her here real quick. All the tires hold air. It is a roller. I gutted the brakes on it. 
up the hood here. So it rolls nice and easy. Parking lights are in fantastic shape as well. Oh, one other thing I forgot to point out. Torque boxes are gorgeous. Front and rear. Frame rails are in fantastic shape. Floorboards, yeah, they're smoked. There's the bottom of the battery box. It's not all rusted out like they normally are. The other side looks identical. I'll show you the frame rail on this side. Absolutely beautiful. No swelling whatsoever. Still has the 8 inch in it. I think it would make somebody a great race car or a project. If you're looking to get into a 64 Cyclone, here's this one. I will give you an official Missouri bill of sale with it, but I do not have a title to it. It's got the 1980s racing shackles on it. You know, it made it added 100 horse that's it guys that's what i got